What's going on guys? It is your boy Angry the Game. In today's video we have must have heroes in Castle Clash. If you are struggling with what heroes you should level up and you're not sure what heroes to use, um, this might be the video. I don't know. I don't know. I hope this is the video for you. I know there's people that's going to be in the comment section schooling me. We're going to have a dislike the first minute that this video is up because people just hate the fact that I think I know what I'm talking about. But I, uh, I'm going to, based off experience, okay? My assessment is based off experience, experiment, experience for the last seven and a half months that I've been playing free to play. I checked that my first video was the 5th of March on this uh, pure free to play account. Uh, one other thing that I need to get out of the way is that people still argue with me, sending me messages saying that this is a lie, this is a fake account, and I do not, this is not free, it's free to play. Uh, zero out of 230 gems purchased. I still have this um, one to achieve by gems. This is pure free to play, not even tap joy. Okay. Okay. And then, as for the heroes, what heroes is a must have? All of the heroes that are going to be mentioned is obtainable for free to play. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to do tap joy to get the accumulation. You can get all of these heroes. Now the first year I'm going to get out of the way is one that I do not have yet and that is Eradica. You can get him as free to play, multiple people as free to play, that not tap joy free to play, pure free to play, has Eradica. Um, you can get him through treasure mining, ach not treasure mining, uh, floating isle mostly, uh, with the bags and the bags that you're getting. Um, yeah, okay, so that's out of the way, that's done. Now, next up, this is based on experience, okay? So, like I said, based on the experience, what I had with the game. All of these heroes are obtainable, because I have them. I'm free to play, and I have these heroes. So, if I have them, then you can have them. Dynamica is the absolute must-have hero in this game. If you don't have Dynamica, you will struggle. You will struggle to succeed properly in this game. Uh, in, in all game modes actually um he's, he's going to be used in almost all game modes no he's going to be used in all game modes for dynamica i uh like to set him up with aggressive price on defense with wicked armor zero in holy conviction and then i have attack traits on him accuracy is going to be better but because i'm free to play i had to take what i could get and that is what i got uh d uh, so that's defense with frost titan offense I'll go uh, revive and I'll change the wicked armor out for survival. The reason why I use survival is because he's going to take no damage for the first three seconds. And that gives him time to start revving up the engines, you know. And then I'll change out the lawful, uh, the um, zero in for lawful shield. Everything is obtainable as free to play because I have it. So don't even start with that, you know. So that would be my dynamica. Uh, defensive and offensive. <coughs> Second must-have hero, which is a focus hero, focus, 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 is going to be Axe Punisher. I was in the beginning always against this. T Dizzle has been begging me, start using Axe Punisher. It's going to be the best hero. Start using, and I was always no, 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 no. I want Burial Fox, and now I want nothing to do with Burial Fox. So T Dizzle, you were right in that. I want absolutely nothing to do with Burial Fox. I just want Axe Punisher. Um, that's who am I. He's, it's going to happen a couple of more times. He does that. He's um, deliberate in that. People will... So, D Dizzle will argue and say, it's not who am I, it's the game. No, I can be on any account and that never happens. It only happens on this account. Anyway, so the way I built him, and this is ad this was, this advice was given to me by some of you guys actually, to use aggressive price on Dynamica and on Axe Punisher for defense. I use Ulefint because my Drago is only level two, so I use Ulefint. They basically do the same thing. Uh, on a defense, it's going to be aggressive price with empowered. Even though I do use an Athene. To empower all my heroes, he's going to be important with empowered. 
Now, as for the insignia, you can go lawful shield. You can go wherever you want. But I use blood barrier because that just, it works for me. Okay. And then en uh, energy surge. I use energy surge. Now, it's a holy I switch between them. Energy surge, uh, it's so that he can't be um, silenced. So he's going to get a skill activation regardless of what's happening around him. And then I want to go for crit resist because I want to keep him alive. The longer you keep him alive, the better. Okay, so but that's defense. Offensively, I'm going to go with uh, revive. Then I'm going to go with revitalize. And I'm going to keep the blood barrier and I'm going to keep elephant and I'm going to keep energy surge. That's his offensive attacking. And it works wonderfully. I mean, he doesn't fail me at all. <clears throat> okay, now that's Axe Punisher. Thirdly, it's an absolute focus hero. Focus. Focus. It's going to be Rambod. If you don't have... It, and I, I was... <laughs> same thing. I was completely against using Rambod. Um... Until I started using him because I couldn't get a Trentor. Can you believe that? I got Rambod, but I didn't even have a Trentor. So I was forced to use Rambod, and now I will never, ever, ever, ever go back to using Trentor. Even though they do the same thing. But Ram Rambod's just way cooler, and he's a tank. This boy can tank. Now, this is the wrong setup of my defense. This is my offensive um, build. Uh, it's going to be Revive. Uh, re revitalize. This is offense, uh, defense, offensive. Re this is my offensive ball. This is when I go and attack. Revive, revitalize, equipment, holy conviction. And over here, I go for HP and I would like to fill this up, but uh, HP, crit resist. Don't go attack, don't go accuracy, don't go crit damage or crit. That doesn't help him. You can go dodge. Dodge is not that good because most heroes can out accuracy your dodge if that makes sense hp and crit resist those are the ones you want for heroes like rambard and axe punisher as well did i my dpi is so low there we go okay so that is my rambard for um his offensive attacking Defensively, I'm going to use him with stone skin. And I always use, sorry, I, now, because I ran into some problems during Guild Wars, now I always use Rudolph. Because Rudolph is going to ensure that he's going to remove all the conditions, and so he can't be silenced, and he also restores HP, which in Arena is beautiful. And then uh, I'm going to go Sacred Light. So Stone Skin Sacred Light as a defense hero. Um, not on my base actually as much because I actually removed him from my base for defense. He's not on my base anymore as a defense hero. But yeah, uh, Arena definitely defense that way. Otherwise, if you're going to go um, attack, you could use that build. But uh, Revive Revitalize works the best actually. Or Revive Empowered, sorry. Revive Empowered is going to be better. Okay, so that's Rambod, Axe Punisher, and... Oh, by the way, I forgot got to say this in the beginning of the video. Please sit back and relax, because this is going to be a long one. Now, next up, we have... Now, it's 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 going to be a bit of a juggle. Because you got to... You gotta, do you have that much empowered on your base as Insignias for them to be on defense? And if you use empowered for defense... It's not that good because it doesn't actually give them the ability like damage reduction or attack or anything like that. So I'm going to say the next one to focus is going to be Athene. Now Athene has always been a focus hero for top players because they can just place her on their base and they don't need Empowered on their heroes at all. Even though Axe Punisher has Empowered but that's a different situation. It just helps him better. Now with Athene I like to go with... Okay, so for those of you who don't know, let's read the skill so you can understand this. Deals 330% attack damage to nearby targets in an area every 0.2 seconds for 5 seconds. We don't really care about that. We care about the next part. Increase 7 friendly heroes attack speed by 70% for 6 seconds. 
The friendly heroes also gain 58 energy each. Cooldown 6 seconds. This hero is immune to silence and conditions from calamity. Now, she can't be silenced, so that's one. Um, she's auto proc, so she doesn't need to actually hit something to activate her skill. So she's just going to stand on the base with empowered and stone skin. I, I want to I wanna build her as defensively as possible, but she's going to have to use empowered. And then Holy Conviction, and then over here, Crit Resist is the way to go. Because that's when she's going to be hit the most, is with Crit Resist, is with Crit. So she's also going to go on the base, and um, I usually put her in the middle of the base, so she can't be hit that easily. Because, so that's my theme, there's no other build for her, you only build her that way, and that's it. For me. You might have a different way, but, you know, for me it's that. And it's been working for me, so let's leave it there. Okay, so now we've got that. Now, what's going to be your next focus for heroes? I'm not going to say it's going to be Cold Head, because that is not going to be your focus. Because if you're starting out and, and you want to start attacking and gaining points and stuff like that, you need something that can destroy, destroy bases, right? So, Dynamica... You see, that's gonna happen quite a few times. I know it's who am I. He says he doesn't have access. I tried my best to get him kicked out, but it's not working. IGG just doesn't want to help me. They say it's my own fault. Okay, so Dynamico is gonna help you with that. He's going to be your tank. Okay, he's gonna take most of your hits. Axe Punisher is going to destroy. He's gonna focus troops as well, you know? So he's gonna hit buildings. But he's gonna focus on the troops on those built in, in those bases. So what are you gonna do to remove the troops? No, it's not gonna be Zephy. I actually wanted Zephy, but I don't use him for offensive. I use him for defense, not offensive. Offensively, this is my dude, Anubis. Anubis will take away 100 troops with every skill activation. Bam. Deals damage equal to 370% attack to a maximum of 100 enemies. And he's going to be focusing troops. There's a max of 400 troops. He's going to come in. He's going to take away 100. He's going to die. He's going to come back up. And he's going to do that again. So, he's got built-in revive. I've got him with survival because he negates all damage for 3 seconds. And regain HP equal to two or, or again hp equal to 2500 percent attack when attacked so survival is going to ensure that he gets a skill activation with the um revitalize as soon as you drop him bam heroes are gone it's not going to be silenced immediately he can be silenced but um you can counter that with bets then i've got him just just a bit of a you know just built him with a bit of um um damage reduction raises hp and reduces damage yada 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 so and then spec this instinct but this needs to be holy conviction okay I, I i haven't rolled one yet crit resist hp whichever one you can go with but it's definitely going to be anubis he's going to help you remove troops with a dynamica okay so now we've got those guys so that's anubis um Dynamica, Axe Punisher, yes, must have. Boom, put them there. Next, we have Rambod, Athene, and Anubis. Next up, this is going to be a must, okay? Um, if you're going to kill bases and you don't want to do hero versus hero, and if you're watching this video, you might be not be in a position to do hero versus hero, so rather follow this. Next up, you're going to have to get Lazulix. Lazulix is going to get a skill activation and he's going to destroy half of the base, almost half of the base, plant him or, or place him near a town hall. Even it doesn't matter where that town hall is. Look at my town hall is there. So I will place, so let's say there's a hole over here and then there is a hole. I will place Lazulix. See what I'm saying? He's annoying. I will place Lazulix right here. And he will destroy most of that and maybe hit the town hall at the same time. He damages a lot. So place him as close to the town hall as you possibly can. Maybe not on my base. Town hall is not going to be reachable that easy. Except here where there's a hole. 
but otherwise you won't reach it. Okay, um, Lazulix. So how do you build Lazulix? It's easy. Revive with Bablo. Bablo needs to be on Lazulix because as soon as you place him down, he's gonna make a beeline to the first building that he sees, but it's gonna be quick because Bablo increases the speed and he needs to get there quick before he gets stunned up or uh, slowed down or anything like that. And you're gonna want him with Revive and Revitalize. I've got him with Spike Shield to help kill. Revive, Revitalize, that's the only way, no other way. I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna see it, I don't wanna think about it, I don't wanna feel it, I wanna smell it, I don't wanna taste it, nothing. That's the way you build him, that's it. Holy Conviction with uh, Crit Resist. Do not go Accuracy, do not go Damage, do not go Crit Damage, do not go Crit, because he doesn't do that, okay? He cannot kill a single hero, not even if he tries because he's weak. His skill is what matters. Crit resist, HP, or dodge. But I would prefer crit resist because, like I said, the lowest tier hero will have more accuracy than what you can have dodge. Typically. So go crit resist. It's way, way better. And you're not going to... It's going to be very seldom that you're going to go up against a crit damage hero. They, they don't do that that often. People don't like to do that. So crit resist, counter that. That's the only way. Don't uh, tell me any other way. I'm not going to listen. That's it. Uh, none of these heroes matter right now because you can see I don't even have them leveled up. I have Walla Walla. Mm, that's an extra Walla Walla. That's, well, that's one of my dupes. There's Walla Walla. Yes, if you want to, but okay, I'm not going to focus on that right now. Cosmo, yes, if you want. I'm not going to focus on that right now. Because, like I said, based on my experience with what I've noticed and done. Okay, so that's that. And then next up, obviously going to be Dreadrake. You need a Dreadrake on your team. He's going to... Pew, pew, pew. Bombs all over the place. Base dead. He's good. He's really good. Don't underestimate Dreadrake. Get him as high a skill as you can. Um, I'm lazy. Because I need to open up these heroes to get his skill up. So that's my bad. But if you can get him as high as 10 and above, typically he's going to be better. How do you want to build him? Revive. And please don't put Revitalize on him. He's auto proc. It just happens. He doesn't need to be hit. And he's going to, as soon as you place him, he's going to toss his bombs. Okay? So don't worry about that. I don't have a depthness yet because it's free to play. I have him with Revive and Unholy Pack. Yes, Unholy Pack makes them weaker. But it increases the attack and that affects the bombs by 240%. So even if you have a maxed out building, he's going to destroy that building. So don't be worried. Hyper Strength is to raise the attack. We can make this Holy Conviction to help him survive longer. Doesn't matter, it works. And he's got attack traits. He's actually a sexy beast. So that's my Dread Drake. Focus your Dread Drake. Get a PD. Um, for me, PD, I've not used PD. Not even in um, dungeons. Not even in dungeons. Uh, the thing is, if you have my... Hero, the heroes that I use for... Let's set them up real quick. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, wait. Okay, I went quickly and set everything up for you guys so I can show you. Uh, I forgot what the point was. Oh, dungeons. So this is why I didn't bother with PD. It wasn't really necessary. Um, I don't see PD as a necessary hero anymore. You might argue that. Um, in my daily life with Cars of Clash... PD is not really a factor for me, although he can help you a lot. But okay, let's go into Insane Dungeon 7, 10. This is the last one I've done. I haven't done Insane 8 yet, and you don't need a PD to do, to do Insane, uh, Insane Dungeon 8. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, I'll probably fail this because I it's been so long, but I will go um, drop magic, then 
Dynamica and Anubis, right? Right over here, I will put down... So I'm gonna get a steel activation. We need to play it out. By the way, hang on. Let's do this. I think I did it this way. Because I haven't, I haven't done it in so long. Now, Insane Dungeon, oh, Insane 710 is a bit of an exaggeration, but I think I dropped everybody. Yeah, everybody at once. Don't drop Rambord, obviously not, because he's going to be there to bring your people back up once they are dead. Sorry, that was a bit loud. Okay, but there we go. Three flamed. Without a PD. Um, so, you can if you want to. It's not necessary, but you can. Uh, I can't even remember the best way to build him. I think it's Soul Healer and something. I can't, because I don't use him at all. So, that, he's not from, you can if you want to. I mean, whatever. Um, okay, next up, Focus Heroes are going to be, let me just see. Am I completely done with the Focus Heroes on that side? Yes, that's all of them. Okay. Now, next up, it's going to be these five on defense. Now, let me let me set my defense so you can see my full defense. Okay, uh, I forgot about the one hero that is a must-have, but it's not an actual must-have. It's just a beast to have. <sighs> Zephy, 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 Zephy. Zephy is still an amazing hero. He do moves troops just as well if you can keep him alive, but for me, it's not working as well as Anubis. But uh, it's not a must-have hero, but I use him on defense. For me, he's a must-have, but he's not a must-have, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, but you can get him if you want to. It literally depends on you. But this is my, this is my full defense, um, my defense heroes. Now... Here we go. Lady Wildcore is going to be a defense must-have for me. You definitely need her. She's been a massive help on the defense. Um, when I go into this, you would normally... you I normally don't see this. Um, on the defense side, as you can see now, there's not, no, not many of them. And if there is, there's usually a Rambard involved to get my base 100% killed. But Lady Wildcore is normally never one of them that dies. Look at this. Dynamica and a Zephy. That's been absolutely obliterated. Hang on. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. My, uh, I got a phone call. It is the insurance for my phone that... This is my, second, this is my secondary phone. Uh, my um, phone that fell and broke. So they... It's at the assessor right now. They're going to assess the damages and then give my insurance company a damage report. So let's hold thumbs. Can we get a uh, just a thumbs up or something to show support that hopefully my claim goes through and I can get a new phone or even just fix that phone. I don't care. Either one. I just need my phone back. I hate iPhone. Shh. Okay. Where were we? We I was kicked out in the meantime and um, I was okay. So. Yeah, yeah. PD, yada, 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 blah, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, secondly, we have the beasts. Uh, not the beasts, the next heroes. But I, a hero I forgot to mention is going to be Ronin. Um, I got my Ronin built with... Uh, just got kicked out again. Who am I? I would like to slap you. But I'm not going to do that. I love you so much, buddy. Hopefully you'll stop with your nonsense. Ronan, I built him the way Gaming Odd built his Ronan because it just seems beast. I just don't have all the necessary stuff that I need to do that. I don't have uh, adeptness to do that. So I've got him with how I have him currently. I put Forest Ward on him because he takes so much damage and dies um, and doesn't heal back up in Arena. But if you're going to use your own and build him the way Gaming Art built his, go check out Gaming Art's video, latest video on Ronin. It's amazing what Ronin did. But when you do use him for um, 
Arena, please use Punching Box. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste. Okay, so now let's look at the final couple of heroes. we looking at Lady Wildcore. I've got Lady Wildcore built with Voidwalker Staff, Nimble, Blade, uh, Blade, um, Details, Spike Shield, uh, Holy Conviction, and Accuracy. And she's going to get a skill activation as soon as... Um, Athene gets her skill up, a proc. Um, she's an absolute beast. This woman is a beast. I need to beat the 3 5 -er. Next up, we have Water Priestess. She's going to be used for Arena. Now, mine is not built the best, but it works like a charm. Let me tell you that much. It works like a charm. I mean, I'm doing phenomenal in Arena with this setup. I'm currently using so I'm just gonna go through this this is not the complete setup this is not what you actually should have but this is what I have currently um, and it works I mean we can go and do an arena battle right now I've got my team set up I am 807th I'm being attacked obviously you were defeat you were defeated you were defeated these are all beasts obviously super deep high pay to play Get out of here. Let's do an arena right now and see what happens. Um, these are all better heroes than mine. I just died just like that, but I'll be back up soon. So I'm not worried about that. Oops. Okay. You know, I don't like to post things that just go right. No. I post things that's truth. So I just died there. Like, that was a fluke. That's on steroids, that dude. Or something's wrong there. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, my Rambo just died like that. Okay, but there we go. One shot that entire team. Rambo is still up and running. And we made it through. Mads. Onik, this is the highest pay to play player in the world it's the strongest this mads account is the strongest he's unbeatable in arena and you see my free to play just walk through his heroes as if it is nothing so yes you don't have to be the best you don't have to be the super pay to play you can just be me with my team look at that just absolutely obliterates this guy with walla walla he's gonna die He's gonna die. He's got Zephy in there. He's got all those types of things in there. Um, look at my team just walking through him. Whoop. Gone. My Rambo did take some. My finger's itching. Why is my finger itching so much? Okay, there we go. You see? This is the other strongest, second strongest, uh, simple 1968. Uh, the other strongest player in the world. Second strongest player in the world. Um, and you can see my team just absolutely spit him out. Yeah, so, I mean, this is probably not the type of video when you looked at the thumbnail and the title. This is probably not the type of video that you expected. You probably expected high graphics and, and heroes flying. Heroes flying in and... Thunder and lightning and this is for you. No, this is truth. This is how it is. This is how it's going to be for you. The heroes aren't going to fly all over the place when you watch a video. Um, that's who you need to focus on, my opinion. It's been working wonderfully for me. I'll do an updated version of this once I have all the heroes, 15 in total, which I want to use for Lost Battlefield. Then I'll do an updated version just for Lost Battlefield purposes. But this is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys when exactly. Goodbye.